Brunswick County is known to be a lively area rich with arts. Today, we dig into those arts by focusing on local authors and the books they have written. From mystery to memoir, the books show a variety of interests, but one thing they have in common is the writer's place of residence. Right here from Brunswick County, three local authors, Tom Reber, Mark Gordon-Smith, and Mariana Smith discuss their books and the journeys they took to publish them. Let's take a look as the authors let us in to the life of writing. We spoke with Tom Reber, an author who is looking to make an impact on his readers. Tom takes us back to the beginning of his journey as an author. I was born in a little mining town in New Mexico called Santa Rita, which actually is no longer there. It was strip mined away. We uh, moved when I was very young. Uh, I grew uh, to Connecticut, where I grew up in a very normal childhood. Uh, my parents always encouraged reading and writing and things of that nature. That's, I guess, where I got my start. And I always was crafting a story in my head at some point. You know, it was just part of my, my young personality. You know, I always enjoyed looking at things differently than a lot of people. And uh, when I got old enough, uh, I was an avid reader. My mother always encouraged me to read. And uh, then in school, I started writing stories. And uh, it was more of a hobby. And, um, you know, it was something I kept on through my life. And I really didn't take it seriously until about 20 years ago. But uh, it, it's something that is definitely a part of my life now. It's, I do it every day. Tom discusses what got him started into writing and how he bettered himself as a writer. About mm, 20 years ago, I uh, bought my first computer and it was just started with an idea and I started crafting a character just for something to do and uh, as a hobby. And all of a sudden it started taking on a life. And I realized, you know, this could be something. It was always my dream to be a writer. You know, I think every writer aspires to the to that glamorous life, uh, you know, which is pretty elusive. But uh, um, I started then and just started doing a story, and it, it started morphing into uh, more. And I just started collecting my writings and, and and started working on the craft. I took a lot of online courses. I took a lot of correspondence courses on how to write. Um, and I think that really propelled me into wanting to be better. You know, I, I'm an avid reader. I, I read everything current and, and try to, you know, not mimic their styles, but see what makes them successful. And, you know, hopefully I've achieved some of that. Yeah. For most authors, a lot of time and effort has to be put into the editing and publishing of a book. Tom discusses what it took to publish his book and the importance of the network that helped him through the process. To become an author, uh, a published author, is very, it's an uphill battle because there is a network that is very hard to break into. Um, and, and my biggest springboard was when I moved down here to North Carolina. Uh, I joined a writing group out in Holden Beach. Um, and most of the members there are all published, fairly accomplished authors. And uh, I think they saw something in me and prodded me uh, because I had piles of manuscripts and things that were half done. And um, they gave me the belief to, to, to put it together and, and to put that first book out. And it was, that was the turning point of my life at that point, was getting a support group. Uh, I have a wonderful wife who was, uh, extremely supportive uh, and she just encourages me every day to follow my dream and you know that's important you have to have people around you encouraging what you do. Tom goes into more detail about his mysterious book The Nine Irony. My main character Nick Thomas is uh, my alter ego a and I think that most writers will write what they know or who they know and, and, and find a comfort zone in that and I started just writing about a character. He was a, uh, he is a um, struggling mystery writer. He started out living on Cape Cod on the beach and, and uh, 
he's an ordinary man who has overcome a lot of obstacles in his life, as I have. Uh, he's a recovering alcoholic. He was uh, divorced. Uh, had a lot of things in his life that were roadblocks until he finally decided to change his life. And once he got to that point, he started writing, getting successful. He gets thrown into some very um, tenuous situations. Uh, he was, uh, in the first book, he's framed for the murder of his ex-wife in a very multi-layered plot. And uh, he, he draws from a lot of resources to get out of that situation. And I've carried that character into the second novel, and I, I plan to keep using that character because everybody loves him. So he's an he's a ordinary man doing uh, inordinary things. Tom has also completed the sequel to his first book, which is called The Devil's Parody. He talks about the plot of the book and how it takes place right here in Brunswick County. I'm putting the finishing touches on it now. I'm winding it up. Actually, the character ends up here in Calabash. Um, I found a, a really neat uh, place out there called the Hickory Hall Mansion, which is, uh, has a dark past. And this is where the story winds up, and actually Nick and his, his, his love interest, Chris, uh, end up falling in love with North Carolina, as I did, and, and are going to move down here. So my next, my next book after this one, if I already got drafted, will, will be based right here in Brunswick County. It is a mystery, and uh, you know the antagonist, uh, the villain. I, you know, I might say in the book is is, is a sociopath. You know, who is uh, conducting social experiments with with people, and basically, it's, it's the bottom line is how far would someone go for some amount of money? What would you do for a million dollars? Tom has high hopes for the future and hopes that his writing will motivate others and have a positive impact on their lives. The future for me is I want to continue writing, but I also have a passion for trying to help younger people, maybe even high school people, um, start to develop their talent and follow their dream. My, my, uh, my vision or my fantasy is to someday maybe be able to mentor some children and, and to help them, you know, get into this, this vocation, because it's very important. I mean. Um, I don't think a lot of children are looking into that f for their livelihoods, I and mean, who knows who could be out there, you know? The biggest thing that I find uh, that, that motivates me, when I sign a book, I sign it with one word, and it just says believe, because that's what it takes. You have to believe in yourself, you have to believe in your dream, and you have to have a, a good support network around you who also believes in you. And I would not want to live my life in regret that I haven't followed that dream. Hopefully in my next series or maybe simultaneously, I'm trying to write a more serious piece called The Starfish Principle, which is um, a story about people coping with the troubles we're having now. Uh, the economic collapse of a lot of things, a lot of people losing everything in their lives and moving on. And, and I believe that's important. People need hope. And, and I'd like to write something, I, I love writing mysteries, but I'd like to write something more significant as well. Tom tells us where we can find his book, The Nine Irony. Well, my books are in, in, in a lot of the uh, local bookstores. Uh, they're on Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Books A Million. Uh, but actually, I prefer if people would go to my website, uh, it's www.nickthomasmysteries.com, I will send them out an autographed copy.